Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Rob from Panther and I want to show you how to create in this in these interesting uh, marshmallow candy sweet kind of effects abstract forms. I don't know how it's called. So yeah, before we jump in, if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get new updates, daily updates. Uh, yeah, uh, so the first thing I would do is create the first circle. We can select it from here, the ellipse tool press shift plus alt and create your first circle press shift plus x so you go in stroke mode in strokes uh, we're gonna go to effects distort and transform zigzag get click previews and increase the size of the of these click on smooth and increase the number of of uh, some of the edges let me let me see somewhere around here like let's see less sizing is ah yeah it's, it should be good something like that i don't know how it did this before with this oh it's like it's good like this is good also no problem i'm gonna go to object expand appearance and from here let me see we're gonna go to effects distort and transform transform click previews let's make some copies i don't know like 21 23 something like that um the horizontal we're going to decrease to 91 vertical 91 same and we're going to rotate the angle a little bit something like this two percent is good uh, actually, I'm going to remove some of the copies, so it won't be that much. Um, yeah, this should be good. I'm going to click OK. As you can see, we got the form. I'm going to create a new copy by pressing and holding to Alt and plus Shift and dragging it to the right. I'm going to go to Object, Expand Appearance again. I'm going to press Shift plus X, so it's Fill. And I'm gonna click to divide from the Pathfinder. If you don't have the Pathfinder, you can go to Windows and select Pathfinder. From here, we're gonna ungroup this and select the ones uh, that, that basically matter. They're gonna remain. Uh, press and hold Shift. So we don't select this, we select this. No, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes. And so on until we got the right stuff. Okay. Uh, press and hold shift and drag it to the right. As you can see, we got two models already. Good. Well, they're both the same. Uh, this is the inside part. This is the outside part. I'm going to, is this group? No, it's not. And this is how you make it uh yes yeah, so this was it um i also thinking to add some shadows uh adjusted but uh yeah if you don't want to watch it further then uh, yeah this is the tutorial uh from here i also want to add some shadows to make some uh, to make it pop a little more so i'm gonna decrease i'm gonna actually put some gray light gray uh some darker gray okay and I'm going to add shadows, some gradients, the gradient. Uh, I'm going to change this along with some darker gray and I'm going to decrease the opacity to zero. So one is zero, the other one is black. Okay, I'm going to click somewhere around here. Actually going to, now we're going to do it without it. Anyways, and I'm going to go somewhere around here. I got to bend it. Okay. This will do it. Um, yeah. I'm going to press and hold Alt and bring this back a little so I can bend it easier. Hmm. Yeah, and I'm going to 
actually redraw this here. You know, just eyeball it, nothing serious, just uh, test it out. Uh, yeah, from here, I'm going to adjust this more because it doesn't look that good now. I'm, I'm going to clean it out a little more. Oh, wait a sec. Click on this, select this. I'm going to adjust this side, this anchor point also, but as you can see, it doesn't have handles. So I'm going to add handles with these. And I'm going to press and hold Alt. So I'm going to adjust only one side and adjust this also. Um, yeah, let me see. So it's a, uh, this part is a little bit more difficult until I get this right. But after this, uh, we're going to make copies out of it. So that should be more easier. Okay. It's, uh, it basically, it's going to go somewhere around here. Okay. Something like that. And now I'm going to press G. And as you can see, now we can adjust the gradients where it's going to reflect. So I want something like this to go somewhere around here. I'm going to adjust, you know, the, so it's here is going to be transparent. This is the, the light area and this is the dark area. And uh, now I adjust it accordingly. And of course, here is like harsh. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter. I think it's good. I think it's good like this. What if I hmm, go a little bit like this? Nah. It should be good just like this. So I'm going to create a new copy. I'm going to press and hold Alt and then Shift and then drag this. Press and hold Shift, rotate it. And uh, I want to uh, place this right here in the opposite direction. It should go somewhere here. I'm going to find the right spot. And boom, there you go. I'm going to group these, select them both, press Control G. We'll right click and group now you're gonna see on group but you're gonna it, it's gonna appear group so as you can see it's, it's like bending in it's like creating some perspective like three dimensions and it looks it looks cool uh right now what we're gonna do is double click on the rotate tool and uh we're gonna click previews and we're gonna place this basically where it belongs and pr press copy Oh, I didn't put it where it needs to be. It needs to be somewhere around here. Okay. Double click um, minus. So it's going to go somewhere around here. Yeah. Copy. There you go. I'm going to press control D and repeat control D until it goes round and round. Now you can see that uh, it's this beautiful three dimensional kind of uh, element going on uh, also I can uh, make this darker oh it looks I think it looks even better this way look at that and yeah this is kind of it this is how you do these uh, interesting really interesting forms hope it helped uh, thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and have a great day bye bye